in institutions and sometimes in concert halls, we need to install spider dollies. Now, let me make it clear that I really don't like spider dollies under concert instruments. They seem to suck a little bit of the sound out of it and not ground the sound. And when there's a direct connection between the instrument and the floor, it seems to get a much better sound. We're going to talk about spider dollies in this video, and we will install a spider dolly occasionally, especially in a classroom where we need to move the piano around quite a bit. In a concert hall, I prefer to have a piano transport, something like this that Jansen makes, and there are other ones that you can custom build for larger pianos. Now, if you're going to use a transport in the concert hall, make sure that the piano also has large wheels so that when you need to, you can move it around stage without having to get the transport. These large wheels are really nice to have in the concert hall. They won't damage the floor, but they will require a rebuilder or somebody to cut off a leg and install these. You also should know that the wheels that the piano came with, or the casters, are not good for the floor. They'll leave marks. Now we had a dealer that said, oh, just put the rubber wheels on. Those will work, but they don't. You can see where that piano went the first month of its life on that brand new $100,000 maple floor. One thing I like to do when I'm working on a spider dolly is I'll get a board and just cut a notch in it like this so it can slip like that when you're putting the dolly onto this. So unlike the one in the video, I just put that slot in there and it supports it really well. As you're working with spider dollies, get several pieces of blocks of wood, different sizes, and I always carry a two before about all oh, two and a half feet long, something like this. If you want to pry something up, like let's say this is down here, and you need to pry it up a little bit, you can lift it up this way, or if you need higher, you can lift it up that way. And just a little tiny bit of leverage most of the time is all you'll need. When you're working by yourself, it's really good to have that. So then you can just pry it up a little bit, slip your um, pieces of wood in wherever you need it. And so just carry a supply of wood. Now a few words of warning before we start. Here are some things that you should take into consideration before you start. If possible, bring a helper. Don't do this by yourself. This method is for a person that's fairly strong, so if you're not strong, use jacks and another method. Next, prepare all the blocks and everything in advance so it's right at hand, you don't have to move around searching for it. And of course, move carefully and deliberately, and watch out for your fingers, don't risk anything. And lastly, I've installed dozens of these dollies with no problem, so just be careful and everything will work out well. There are other safer methods like using this thing called the jack-in-the-box or just jacks in general, but remember, be careful. Put your hand underneath here and you can lift, lift with your leg and you can actually lift quite easily with your leg and make sure your piano bench is high enough You just lift this in and out as you need. I need to interject here that you can lift an awful lot with your legs with your knees under the piano but you, if you're not tall enough, like I'm putting my hand underneath there, you may need to use some books or something. Now, I haven't tightened any of these yet. I'm just going to kind of move it close. So when I pull this leg off, I'll know kind of where it's going to be. Notice that the front two legs are immobilized. I have that in there so the dolly won't flip up on me. Now remember, I have the stool here that we take around. It's just an ordinary stool. And then I'm going to get under here and lift and put it under like that. Now let me add here that my back is really strong and most people can do this, but if you can't, don't risk it. It's very easy for me. And that's all you need. So I'm gonna take the back side of the hammer, knock the toggle out, move it around, take my mallet. Now taking two flat screwdrivers, wedge them in here and just pry it out. I pry it the, the large part right here so that I don't break it off, because if you're in the middle of it, sometimes you can pry that and break it off. All right, pry it up, and it'll only come so far, and then what I do is take the back of my crescent wrench, my adjustable wrench, whatever you want to call it, and pry it out the rest of the way. Best way to put these on is put your nose right in line with that, and then it'll come right back, and then put your toggle in, take your hammer, kind of Wedge it back in, back here. Now you're going to take this around, and I might have to lift it just slightly to get that in, but I'm going to put 
that where it needs to be, and then I'm gonna lift it and put that in. It's pretty easy. Now I only have one knee because I had knee surgery, but it's pretty easy for me to lift it up with my shoulders and put it in just like that. Now I can take the wood out of the rest of the places there and I'm done. Now I'm putting my good knee under the piano, lifting it up slightly and pushing out these pieces of wood and then I'll carefully with my foot, guide it back under like that. Hands under here and I lift with my knees and just kick it out. Now I need to mention, I really don't like spider dollies under grand pianos. But in this situation, in a band room, this is one of the best things they can do, and they can move it without uh, hurting the floor.